So it's all well and good being able to design something that looks good and also the client likes, but that's only half of being a graphic designer. The other 50% is business related. So we're talking about things like making use of your time, tracking finances, contracts, digital signatures, and so on. And today I have five of the best tools that you need to be aware of as a graphic designer to succeed and to make the most of your time. The first resource is Rescue Time, which does exactly that, it rescues your time. Now you might have heard of the phrase, time is money, and in business it couldn't be more true. So if you're able to see how much of your time is wasted each day, you'd maybe rethink your workflow. Now Rescue Time is offered as a free version, but that does have limited features. However, the free version still comes with quite a lot. Now someone who is truly serious about their business, $12 a month isn't that much to hand over. In business, you really do need to spend money to make money, and that's something I learned myself along the way. The features on Rescue Time are really awesome though, and you can do things like time tracking, you have reports on how productive you are, and the ability to set goals and track those goals too. There is so much more to offer with Rescue Time, and I think it is really, really effective for your business career. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by anything in today's video, that's just a heads up. There is also a nifty course that you can grab, and you can enroll on that course for a two week free trial period. So it states that you can reclaim two to three hours every single day. So that maybe is something you want to look at. Now I've researched everything in today's video, and as you can see, the overall verdict of Rescue Time is that it's very useful indeed. Every location is awarding it four to five stars across the board. So the next tool in today's video is something I find very, very useful. So I've mentioned it's a platform that enables agencies to leverage media monitoring and social media in order to increase brand awareness. Now you can track the goings on of your competitors, or of course, what's being said about you and your brand. But also, if you're designing a logo for a brand, you might want to check out what that brand is doing online and what is being said and what's the vibe or the buzz around that brand. It will give you a better picture of how things are going. However, for me, I have found some extremely useful resources up here in the top drop down menu. Now you can find webinars, courses, cheat sheets, and much, much more, all geared around things like social media marketing or just growing your business in general. Marketing is crucial to the success of a business, and so you really need to be aware of how to market yourself in this day and age. This section of the website is like a treasure trove of information at your fingertips. So as freelancers or designers, we're going to need to sign contracts and also we're going to send them out too. Now HelloSign is pretty much the industry standard when it comes to signing digital contracts, but it also makes sure things are secure and legally binding as well. It's simple and it's really straightforward to use. So the plan you choose is going to depend on the size of your business and the amount of clients that you actually work with. And if you work with pretty much no clients, then of course you are going to need to take a step back and focus on things like your marketing techniques, as we looked at in the previous example. But yeah, you can sign up to HelloSign for free and it does make the whole legalities of signing contracts and documents a breeze. The fourth resource is a big game changer. So before I explain what coconut is, apart from being a sweet, hard to get into food stuff, I need to explain that when you're dealing with things like taxes, it is always a good idea to seek some professional advice. But yeah, that being said, Coconut allows you to track your finances. So things like earnings, overheads, if your client has paid you on time or not, but it also can help with invoicing and calculating tax as well. They do offer some accountants at the top, as you can see here. The blog offers some neat insights into the financial sector of a business, and there are some nifty articles for you to read over. Now again, I did do my research, and Coconut is highly rated across the board when it comes to reviews and feedback. Trustpilot is probably one of the best places to look for reviews, but it's a good idea to get different reviews from different locations. The fifth tool today is something really quite remarkable. Hunter.io allows you to source email addresses linked to specific companies. So this is helpful if you want to cold call a business as a means to maybe pitch a sale or an idea. 
So you might be trying to, you know, get a new job at a specific company and you want to get your foot into the door with your portfolio, but you cannot seem to find the relevant email address. Well, simply search for that company into hunter.io and you're going to be shown multiple different email address linked to that company. You need to sign up to see the full email address, but it is useful and it's something I just discovered whilst making this video. Do remember that being a graphic designer isn't just about sitting at your computer and designing things. You really need to put in the work to make sure you are setting up a business where people notice you online and you attract people to you. If you want to learn more about graphic design, click a video on screen. But until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.